thank you. What an incredible honour. Firstly, we too would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands on which we gather to today, the Ngunnawal people and the elders past and present. We would also like to honour all the remarkable finalists here tonight. Uh, your passion and commitment to make a difference is truly inspiring. We never imagined our life work would lead us here. We stand here tonight proudly representing every melanoma patient and their families, but also those with brain cancer and indeed all cancers. We share this incredible honour with a wonderful, and support, and wonderful team and supporters at Melanoma Institute Australia, the world's leading melanoma research and clinical care facility. Our thoughts are always with those families where our breakthrough treatments came too late. We are forever indebted to your loved ones and all our patients for their selfless commitment to research, which has changed the futures for others. That is Aussie mateship at its very best. <clears throat> Sadly, everyone knows someone with melanoma. It's as Aussie as our golden beaches and our sweeping plains. We're the melanoma gold medalists, but this is not a gold medal to be proud of. In most cases, melanoma is preventable with sun safe behaviour, and prevention is always better than a cure. Yet tomorrow, thousands of Aussies will be soaking up the sun working on their tans, or as we see it, brewing their melanomas. When it comes to tanning, we are swimming outside the flags. A tan is skin cells in trauma from overexposure to UV radiation from the sun. There is nothing healthy about a tan, nothing. Our bronzed Aussie culture is actually killing us. So we call on advertisers and social media influencers, stop glamorising tanning, or using it to sell or advertise or entertain. And to our fellow Australians, when you see it, call it out, demand change. Imagine the outcry if smoking was still glamorised like this. We must elevate sun safety to equal status with other life-saving safety measures like wearing a seatbelt or a helmet. We can love this sunburnt country without the sunburn. Our mission is zero deaths from melanoma. To reach it, in addition to prevention, we need a targeted screening program and greater investment in research. This must be a national health priority. Beyond melanoma and into the broader cancer field, more courage is needed to push treatment boundaries backed by science for the benefit of all cancer patients. Clinical trials are crucial. In Australia, less than 6% of cancer patients are on a clinical trial. Every eligible Australian cancer patient should be given this opportunity. Research into any cancer can transform the field globally. It is how we will save lives across all cancers. How do we know? Because we have dedicated our careers to saving lives from cancer. But eight months ago, the stakes became personal. I stand here tonight as a terminal brain cancer patient. I'm only 57. I don't want to die. I love my life, my family, my work. I have so much more to do and to give. I'm one of the many thousands of cancer patients who have travelled this path, and thousands will follow. Devising this world-first experimental treatment for my type of brain cancer was bold. For me, the decision to take on Georgina's groundbreaking plan was a no-brainer. Here was an opportunity for us to crack another incurable cancer and make a difference, if not for me, then for others. 
We are extremely proud that the data we have generated from this fearless approach is already changing the field. Human clinical trials now look set to follow, and the sooner, the better. From where I stand, with a future now measured in months rather than decades, it's impossible for me to properly articulate how proud and hopeful that this also makes me. We do not let fear hold us back. So I say to all Australians, no matter what life throws at you, seek out opportunities to contribute, to participate and to action change. And as I like to say, have a crack and don't just lean in, leap in. That's what we did. There was early pushback, but we backed our strong science, tried and tested in melanoma. So think big, be bold, be courageous, and we must work together. This is how we grow individually. This is how we grow as communities. And this is how we grow as a nation. We should not let fear hold us back. Finally, we wouldn't be here tonight if not for our unwavering love and support from both our families, particularly this last year. We can't, cannot thank them enough. And thank, and thank you, Georgina, for your passion, guidance and determination. Thank you, Australia, for bestowing us with this wonderful honour. Richard, I hope for nothing more than the both of us in 12 months' time to be standing here, passing the baton to the next Australian of the Year. Thank you.